Hey, welcome back. So today we have one of our favorite coastal camping spots so far and Harvest Host number nine. It's a fantastic little Christmas tree farm nestled right into the redwoods. You're not gonna wanna miss this and we're glad you're with us. So let's get started. squeeze for John. Oh God. He's doing it. You're all clear. Yikes. Boy. Yeah, yikes. Keep you posted. I should do Your a screenshot of the of the road, of the map. This is nuts. Wish us luck. Bay waiting for Dare. Here she comes. Will the bag fit? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, look at that access. I know. Yeah, we just snuck through that gate. Well, not really snuck, that's access through this RV park that we just got today. How much was it, honey? 65. <clears throat> 65, full hookup. Um, nothing for the extra parking. Nope. And uh, could I just also mention that we just walked right across the parking lot and uh, yeah. There's Moro Rock. <clears throat> what do you think? It's pretty cool. Oh, is it pretty cool? It's pretty cool. That's Dare's favorite saying. So let's. These sand dunes. This is me. I know. Honey, look at this. There's a freaking oh, sea God, lion there's right a here. Freaking Sergi. sea lion. Sergi, come here. What is he doing here? All right, he just met a sea lion. Uh, where were we yesterday, the other day? Uh, yeah, two days ago. First time meeting a sea lion, so. Wow, that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were about to tell me something was gonna attack him, and I'm like, what is going on? I mean, that might, he might. He could be fast. I mean, we went from zero sea lines in our life to uh, just randomly showing up everywhere. Hey, we have this wild animal on. This is awesome. It's the runoff from all the rain straight into Morro Bay. See, that's really fast running water.
So, I am doing an Amazon return for me and Brian. And I'm going to go back with a little surprise. In Arizona, we love the human being. We haven't seen one and we've been craving one. And look what I found. We're going to get some human being. I'm so excited. This is awesome. And there's no line, but there's one lady pulling in in front of me. That's okay. Because... We are getting the human bean. Brian's gonna love this cold brew. We just bought some cold brew um, for the house, but it ain't nothing like the human bean. And he doesn't even know it's coming yet. So that's more exciting. Another reason why I love Morro Bay. Sergi knows what's about that. The two cold brews? Yep. All right, $11. Look at this, Sergi's got his pup cup, and we got a freaking gorgeous view of Morro Bay ahead of us, Morro Bay Rock. And look at him, just going to town. He loves the human being, probably more than me and Brian maybe, but look, he gets spoiled. Morro Bay is such a cute town. It's just a small town vibe. It's so, I love it here. I feel like I should be in North Carolina, Georgia, somewhere just so small. We're still trying to figure out what we're going to do today. It's only 2.30. Okay, we're live from Morro Rock. There's 65 mile an hour wind gusts. Look at this, guys. Kids, we can't stay out of here too long. So windy here, uh, but look at the beauty. This place rocks. Um, that's all a protected area for the bird habitat, I believe. Over in that direction is right where the tree line starts on the beach. That's where our RV park is. We walked across. There's a little path right behind those sand dunes. Uh, it took all about 10 minutes. It's dog friendly. What a great spot. We're having a great time here. Other than the wind. These waves are so violent here. So violent. There's tons of signs behind us that are like, don't go in the water. Guaranteed death. our butts intact. All right, we just crossed back from the bridge. We're back on the certified dog beach. A little bit more accessible and must be different tide or something, but you can see that the fresh uh, rainwater that's coming in from the mountains. Yesterday, it was a solid flow out into the ocean. And today you can see like the ocean's fighting it back. It must just be the tides or something, but it looks really cool. There's so many, it's like people are gonna think we're at like SeaWorld or something. <laughs> Look at all those chickens. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look at that, there's that Coast Guard destroyer over there. The world's last PT boat, the Liberty. Morro Bay, baby. All right, just pulled up on the little hut. It's our little restaurant that we're eating at. We're gonna get some, I think I'm in the mood for a good old fashioned burger. Um, Dare's gonna try something else. Aren't you, baby? Yep, shrimp tacos. I'm we sorry, but- We came to a burger and seafood place on purpose. But what are you looking at over here? Yeah, there's an otter and I think her baby. Oh, you mean right where we're gonna eat? Yeah. <laughs> just kidding, guys, I knew that. There's Brian. Maybe he's still checking out the otters. Let's see. Yep, they're still here. I hope they stay here for my entire feast. The yep. last time we saw otters was in Yellowstone. Yellowstone. Yep. And there's, I don't know, there's sea lions. Uh, could be more otters, actually. I think something are probably otters. I think they're, I, let's look. Eels and sea lions over there on the dock. See yeah, right by the tip of that, you can see it barely. Sorry, we don't have telescopic lenses. This is so awesome, all this wildlife. Look at this one, 
breaking this. He's breaking the oyster or whatever he got on a rock. <laughs> Let's go get a closer look. So I think I read set for. <laughs> It said to watch for them on the rocks, cracking open their food. Not them having, come on, your freaking stomach. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Let's go order our food. So with Darian at the little hut ordering our food, I decided to sneak down that little dock there and get a closer look at the otter and her baby. So while I did that, you can already see the shadows now. The seagulls started circling. There he lands, and guess what? He spies my burger. Dare is over there picking up her food, and they get ready to attack. Oh, I think we're getting attacked. So the seagull just took a big bite out of the burger. So we gotta go into protection mode. Yeah. Destination Los Gatos. Like Dare said, the one was closed due to rock mudslides and failed road systems due to the rain. So we couldn't take Big John through Big Sur. But we took the 101 instead, which is still coastal and still great. Okay, we are in an even tighter situation here. Uh, oh, it's so pretty, but uh, this is going to be really tight. Stay tuned. way um, I had dare jump out in front of me uh, real quick um, like we normally do just to get a good feel of these little tight areas that we always seem to find ourselves in with these harvest hosts let me tell you a little bit about patchin number one this is a real working Christmas tree farm that's out of season so they open it up for harvest host members like us this property has plenty of room we approached the property from the north, and you can see how wooded it is up there with this drone shot here. This property has plenty of light hiking trails so you can explore all the great landscaping and nature. We saw ducks and deer every single night. 
we settled in here right next to the workshop and you can see this spot speaks for itself fantastic plenty of space and very clean when we weren't enjoying the grounds we were driving and biking through all these redwood groves and guys let me tell you there's a lot of them Now due to the weather, the owner was kind enough to let us stay an additional night. Now I know it doesn't seem like it here, but it was raining nearly this entire stay. On the second night, we did end up moving the trailer to this location here. It gave us a better view of the pond to the left and also all the deer that came to visit. Next time on the freezes. Now, although we didn't know it at the time, Patchen Christmas Tree Farm ended up being our last harvest host of California. Why you ask? Well, for the next couple of days, we had a few unfortunate things happen that ended up changing the way we traveled the coast of California. We're going to share that and of course more everyday life of the full-time RV traveler. We'll see you next time.